So we actually have seven pieces of gold right here. So we have just arrived at Sportsman's Warehouse. We're gonna get our archery kit now. Welcome back to IRL Locked. If you are new or returning, all XP in game has to be earned in real life first. Let's go over some quick stats we got in the last video. So to put it short, we got 18 agility from cardio, 24 thieving from doing a bit of lock picking, 19 fishing from quests and snagging our line, 27 cooking from food of course, and these melee skills from doing weight training and boxing. Today's video is going to be insane compared to the last as I'm planning to up the ante to get lots of XP, so let's get on with it. So today we are actually heading out to Jamestown, California, where we'll actually be getting the dig site completed. And first we actually need 10 Herblore. So we're gonna go ahead and get 10 Herblore real quick by mixing a drink while we're driving. First we get our seven up. All right, so now we have our zero sugar Canada dry ginger ale. Add that in. Finally, we have our grenadine. Where the fuck is the grenadine? <laughs> so now we have our grenadine, we're gonna mix it in real quick and make a Shirley Temple. Our Shirley Temple. Drinking and driving accomplished. <laughs> so now that we have just made the Shirley Temple, we got our XP requirement being 1000 XP for 10 herb lore. So we're actually good to go now, off to gold panning. Just arrived in Jamestown, California, which was known as the gold panning area in 1848. So now we're gonna go gold panning on the river bend to see if we can get some gold. You know what? Here's something trivial. Is a man's three-piece suit today uh -huh. is about equivalent to a one ounce of gold. Mm -hmm. You go back to 1920, 1800, mm -hmm. an ounce of gold is about a price of a, a three-piece good suit. If you guys can't see, we actually do have two pieces of gold. One, two, and I believe we have a third right here. So we actually have seven pieces of gold right here. This is absolutely insane. And those are some big chunks of gold. So after we have just gone home, we have our gold, and I counted 15 pieces of gold, so that's 150k mining XP. So since we have just finished the IRL grind, let's break it down real quick. We managed to achieve 15 gold pieces, granting us 10,000 XP per flake. With our three hours we spent at the river, we managed to accumulate a passive 9,000 XP for each minute we spent there at 50 XP per minute. We also took some damage from sulfuric acid leaking from the ground, which ended up being recovered later by passively healing, along with a boost from some chicken tenders at a nearby gas station. If you want to support future endeavors like this, support the Patreon in the description, and thanks to the Patreons listed here. Now that we have a total banked XP pool for the dig site of 2,000 herb lore XP which was achieved by mixing the drink and a whopping 159,000 mining XP from our trip, we still need one thieving level which we'll achieve within a short time of lock picking. <laughs> We fucking picked a lock, baby! There is no fucking way. Look, now it's locked again. It won't move. Is the other lock a master lock? Uh, it's a padlock with more pins. This one's a bit easier because it has less pins. Check that shit out, baby. With our short portion of stream containing lock picking, we actually managed to pick the lock three times in total, which granted us 7,500 XP per successful lock pick, or 25,500 XP total after just 20 minutes of lock picking. We proceeded on to get the quest Druidic Ritual done, which allows us to unlock Herblore, giving us an additional 150 XP to bank with a 300 XP completion reward. After making attack potions, I decided to boost from level 6 for Herblore with a botanical pie allowing for more room to bank XP for future quest uses. Asking questions to students and even gold panning during the quest, we were truly immersed into our IRL to in-game experience, taking the last questions we needed for the dig site and completing the quest along the way. Finishing the quest, our XP bank was looking amazing with all of these skills, finally allowing a bit of freedom to the account. 
As I've said before, 50% of the quest XP is banked as additional, meaning we gain 7,650 mining XP and 1,000 herblore XP, allowing us to approach the Motherlode in both ways. Darting over to the infamous Motherlode mine after achieving our pater in real life, we got straight to work with the goal of the Prospector Helmet in mind to show our effort paying off beginning at level 31. Skipping through, we hit level after level, racking our bank value up high and giving us some breathing room for future grinds and better gear. Mining will easily be one of the best skills to get out of the way this early as future grinds for quests that require mining will mean going gold panning with increased XP rates. 40 mining, 45 mining. <laughs> Mysterious old man, there's no way I would... These chaos runes will give us a nice gold boost, very very nice. 50 mining. And finally, on our last stretch, we went very dry for nuggets, but we managed to finish off at level 52 with our 40 gold nuggets, concluding the end of our very first big grind on the account. This was a big step toward future endeavors, allowing new quests to be unlocked and future content to be explored. In total, we earned around 282k from our trip to the motherlode of all mines. I didn't know this clip was going to be so noisy, but as I was saying in the clip, we gain around 15k cooking XP for each meal that we cook in a day, being 3 meals a day, so that's 120,000 cooking XP since last video. Dinner completed. This is also going to be the only skill that we end up gaining XP passively for. With our hard-earned cash deck, it's time to waste it all on cooking, which we will actually need it later down the line for certain quests and Barrow's Gloves. 30 cooking, 35 cooking. Now that we're 35 cooking, we're gonna actually go head back to the GE and do some wines. 40 cooking, 45 cooking, 50 cooking. And with the last two jugs of wine finished, we finished off at 130k XP and level 52 cooking. For almost 30 cooking levels, we actually only put a 40k dent in our cash stack as grapes are way cheaper now. So we have just arrived at Sportsman's Warehouse. We're gonna get our archery kit now. So we've just picked up our bow and arrow set, and now we're gonna head out and go out to the trees. Gold painting is actually really exhausting, so it is currently the next day and we are ready to shoot our bow. So after about 20 shots, we managed to lose an arrow tip on one of our arrows, so we're down one arrow right now. So since we've just finished up here, we are going to total the XP of where we hit and 10 exit. So this area right here is going to be worth 900 XP, 800 XP, uh, 600 XP, etc. So in total, we ended up earning 13,100 ranged XP from hitting the target, which will put us at or around 30 ranged. Now would be a good time to talk about an adjustment to the rules of XP growth for the future of the account to negate exponential growth in the future. Our typical rule set is every 10 levels after 10, we gain 50% more XP in that task. So say we gain 100 XP from thieving per minute, once we hit level 20, we would get 150, then 225, and so on. We're going to be adjusting it to stack at 100% instead, doubling on itself similar to how RuneScape requires double the XP requirement every 7 levels to somewhat negate the effect of having to spend, well, <laughs> four years getting 99 attack for banked IRL XP. This means our new adjustments for XP rates will also be adopted in the spreadsheet where you can find linked in the description below. Before we get started on our grind, I decided to do a quick IRL workout grind which we ended up doing for a total of 4,250 attack XP, 1,350 defense XP, 2,200 strength XP, and 3,400 hit points XP, allowing us to finally get some black armor and a mithril scimitar upgrade. 20 attack, we can now use our mithril scimitar. We're now going to train strength to 20 and then defense to 20. 15 strength and 17 combat level. Easy clue, second easy casket of the account. Nice, unique blue elegant legs. Easy 5k earn, back to Alcarid Warriors. Just at 20 strength and a Renar weed, very nice. We're gonna train defense now. For the next video of IRL Locked, we'll actually be doing more attack strength, defense ranging, magic, etc. Because this video, I wanted to get more skills out of the way that were more unique, such as mining and cooking, so that way we could actually build up a good basis for some skills outside of it, in case we need to make money in the future. Still having over 40k banked XP for mining allows us to go back to the motherlode mine at any time if we're low on gold. 
Just picked up a beginner clue. We'll do this at the end of our grind. All right, we've just finished up our defense XP bank at 1700 XP. So now we're going to actually go do our beginner. And another important thing to note is that we have a 100% increase in attack and strength now, meaning that we essentially get double the XP in real life for our activities in game. Casket obtained and a black hat. <laughs> Honestly, the Prospector and the Glory and the Combat Bracelet looks really good with this outfit. Five ranged. And that is ten ranged. Easy clue. And a beacon. What? All right, I guess we have two clues to do now. Beginner Casket obtained. And easy casket obtained. Beginner casket was terrible as always. All right, maybe about 2600, back to ranging. 15 ranged, and that is 19 range. We've just run out of hit points XP banks, so now we're gonna do some more jumping jacks at our double increased rate. 20 ranged, 25 ranged, 25 hit points. And with 27 range, that is where we conclude our grind as we've just run out of hit points XP. For this video, these are the stats we managed to accomplish. And next video, I plan on breaking into a restaurant to get thieving and cooking XP. See you in the next one.